don't forget to pack your underwear. They have underwear in other countries and other cities too. See, life will go on. Good morning. It is a little after seven in the morning on August 31st and I'm three days out. I feel terrible. <laughs> I really feel terrible. Um, at least they start carving me up today, which I'm really looking forward to. Made sweet potatoes last night and made the house smell wonderful. So I'm really looking forward to having some sweet potato later today. But last night I slept just awful because I'm water loading, just constantly having to pee. <clears throat> Miserable, yeah. Miserable. But, you know, I'm very excited. Three days away. The day after tomorrow, I hit the road. I like being in Pittsburgh, and I'm looking forward to the drive up and having my daughter with me. Today is my last double cardio day. Hooray! <laughs> the last double cardio day. So I got my 53 minutes this morning, 39 this afternoon. No more doubles before Daytona. All I have to do is just Keep an eye on my weight, but no more doubles. I am so happy about that. And my knees are so happy about that. Okay, let's talk about bar on law number seven. You will always forget something when you're packing. So roll with it. How does this apply to life? You're always gonna forget something. And this is different than when something can go wrong. You know, wrong is when the, something goes wrong is kind of the universe just keeping you in check. But the key part of this law is learning to roll with it and not get so upset. If you just kind of think to yourself, you know, you can plan all you want. Like, once again, I'll have my packing list, but you never know what you might forget. But there's nothing that can't be replaced. And this leads back to materialism. I think it was in the book The Little Prince and I, I'm sorry I can't do it in French right now but it quoted that the most important things cannot be seen or touched but only felt by the human heart. If you forget a toothbrush or toothpaste you can always buy more well, if you get your, forget your razor or shaving cream, you can always get more. <laughs> forget to pack your underwear. They have underwear in other countries and other cities too. See, so life will go on. Pack light. If you forget something, you can get it there. When it comes to the aspect of you're going to forget something in the gym, it could be your wrist wraps, lifting straps, your pre-workout. So, you just learn to roll with it. Let's say you forget your lifting strap. So maybe you don't go quite as heavy today. Maybe this is the universe's way of saying, go a little lighter so you don't need, your, don't need to carry that much weight, but you're gonna work on more time under tension. Roll with it. It's hard for some people to do, especially when you have a personality that, you know, your very obsessive personality, and a lot of competitors get like this. That um, hey, you're so bop, 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 bop. There are times where you just have to roll with it. You have to improvise. I remember it was a Christmas show for kids, and it said, I think it was a Frosty the Snowman. It said, when you can't get it all together, improvise. If you can't get it all together, improvise. You got to kind of take that philosophy in life as well. Okay. Story time. It is October 2022, and it is my second pro show at the Baltimore Masters Pro. I did classic physique, and I did physique. I did a much better job prepping, you know, with my cardio. I looked a lot better, and as far as I was concerned, that was the best package I've ever put together. There's still a little wrinkles on my back, but it's just loose skin from age. You know, I was very happy with my posing routine, very happy with my posing. I 
made improvements over um, the year before in my habits. Like I had stopped drinking, which was one of the best things I've ever done. Even though I went through during prep, I had a lot of emotional and mental challenges. I made it. At the show, I felt good, had a good tan. I had a really good posing routine, and so I did not get any video at all of that posing routine. When I left stage, left the stage, people were still applauding from that. I did a Logan Franklin posing routine. I got fourth place in classic physique. I was really happy with that. Yeah. I got outsized again, but hey, I got fourth. I got second in physique. I think I was better conditioned, but the judges said that the other guy just had that look, so I got second. But I live with that. I was pleased with myself, and this is one of those years where, man, I definitely had food cravings big time. So right after the show, I tailed it to go get a pizza like this. Elkridge stained glass pub, ate a big ass pizza all by myself, then scooted to Chick fil A and had a couple Chick fil A sandwiches and some waffle fries. And I already had some Diablo donuts with me. Well, actually, Wise donuts because I couldn't get them from Diablo. So I ate some donuts. <clears throat> and then that night, I invited my favorite gym clients. We all went to a restaurant in Locust Point in Baltimore called Limoncello. And we had a great time and had some great food. I highly recommend Limoncello. My client Frank is one of the owners. He gave us a free dessert. And there was a piece of chocolate cake on that. I had a foogasm. <laughs> Stu sitting next to me saw me eating it and he nudged me and he said, do you need a minute with that? He could see how much I was enjoying it. He actually bought me a second piece to take home. Oh God, it was good. So after my Daytona show, I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna invite my friends, my favorite gym clients. We're gonna go to Limoncello's. And oh my God, I hope to have that cake because I really want that cake. You know, and after the shows, I always have my little ritual things like, I like to eat an entire box of cinnamon toast crunch in a mixing bowl with egg white, sit down and watch TV and eat the whole damn box. And I do that once a year and it's just one of life's simple pleasures that I really look forward to. Reminiscing about this has made me feel happier even though my body is freaking miserable. But I'll start feeling a lot better tonight. And I'm really looking forward to that. I hope I can get some better sleep tonight. Don't let my smile and tone fool you. I feel like dog shit. So, another thing that would improve my mood is, hey, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about it. I hope you've been enjoying this series. Once again, EvoGen. I'm so glad I'm with them. You know, their products have been great, and uh, their protein powder, that Isojet cookies and cream, damn, that just can't be beat. Really missed not having my protein pudding last night. And I would really appreciate your help through Patreon, or is it there? My sponsorship levels are like three, five, seven dollars, or you can make a one-time bigger donation if you want. But guys, I sure could use your help. This has been a tough year financially and since I'm doing two shows I really need the help and I'm trying to increase my social media presence and, and these might be my last shows so I really appreciate the support I'll have a link for the Patreon down below and I really do appreciate your words of encouragement they do mean a lot to me tomorrow it'll be the last time in the saddle before the show Maybe an easy 30 minute or 31 because of my prime number issue. I'll see you tomorrow. Be well.